Howdy y'all and welcome back to Rat's Nest Hot Rods. We are uh, prepping the inside of the door, inside of the hood, and inside the trunk lid uh, today in this video and uh, using a myriad of tools as usual uh, from a uh, regular DA with 320 grit down to a 3 inch DA and then even further down to a 2 inch uh, DA. Um, old doors, lots of dirt, lots of old paint and uh, build up seam sealer and things like that. When you're talking about the hood, especially, you got to get all that grease and everything off of there to uh, get this ready for epoxy primer. That's the mission. Um, so we'll uh, keep it hauling ass here and uh, I'll cut in a little bit later. quick look at that uh, Astro Pneumatics 3 inch DA it'll do 3 inch and 2 inch um, that thing is awesome super small lots of power got a hook and loop on it um, works great I recommend it back to work we're gonna get into uh, lacquer thinner and then the wax and grease remover and keep on cleaning keep on cleaning um, as you've seen we've scuffed with uh, pretty much everything and uh, we'll be busting out the scotch bright and uh, wax and grease remover here shortly I'll catch you all in a little bit
was um, using the MEK on this trunk lid. It had that old Dynamat stuff on there. Still got a little bit of residue on there, and it works good for dissolving that tar rubber adhesive shit. So I had to bust that back out uh, just to make sure this was super clean. Can't leave anything like that on there if you're going to spray it and um, match all of these inside pieces to uh, the same color as the outside of the car. It's not going to be uh, black or anything like that, which you'd have to clean that up as well. But it's got to come off there one way or another, and MEK works pretty good. And if you run over it with any kind of uh, sanding gizmo, then it's just going to clog it up. Now that hug guilt is under control I know he kisses her at that dime store Passion as they lay together in the afterglow You know what that is? pressure pots for your garage or outside hold it now that's medium grit recycled glass I can buy it at clean blast in Tacoma it works really good and it's recycled glass so you don't have to worry about silica poisoning and ruining the environment also so uh, and it's reusable I reuse it a bunch of times and I'll show you how I do that after I get it off the garage floor here shortly it does make a mess um, but I like to reuse it and, and this is kind of how I do it. Cover it up with the plastic as much as you can to keep the, it out of the nooks and crannies of those panels there. Um, you can't keep it all out. Uh, you will be um, blowing it out, vacuuming it out for a while to get it ready. Um, but uh, this is kind of necessary on the edges of these panels. They were uh, had a little bit of surface rust in, in areas that I couldn't grind out um, so this was the way to go. I like to clean the edges um, of all these old panels with um, some blast media um, for grip. Um, that's where you're going to have a lot of your problems is your edges so I give it that little extra step to get those nice and bright clean and um, then hit them with the epoxy paint. So as you can see here, it takes a little bit to fill up this 40-pound uh, uh, pressure tank. Um, and then the other thing I did was I bought the good uh, dead man switch that's, or dead man valve uh, laying down there on the floor. That really helps. It comes with a really cheesy ball valve that uh, will eventually get worn out by the abrasive going through and blow a hole in the side. So I probably went through four. 3 8 ball valves and uh, finally broke down and went and got this uh, dead man's valve and it's uh, pretty good quality all right we're gonna skip on over to some blasting and uh, I'll leave it slow for a little bit and then we'll uh, crank it up here there you can see the plastic and I also took a um, 
moving blanket kind of laid it on top with some uh, welding magnets trying to keep as much of the glass particles as humanly possible out of the uh, inside of the panel uh, like I said it's not going to be perfect and you're going to have some work to do you can see the blast media all over the floor um, that is part of the pain in the ass about doing it in your garage but the good part is you get to reuse it and uh, you could do this outside but uh, I do have neighbors and uh, care what they think about me and uh, appreciate them so I don't want to throw a tarp outside and just start spraying glass around everywhere um, again this is under the old seam sealer on the pinch of that um, trunk lid skin there was uh, you know once you get the seam sealer off there was some surface rust down in there I just couldn't get it out and I hate wire wheeling um, and I think this is just the way to go so let's uh, speed it up and uh, blast through this and uh, I'll catch up with you later oh my darling video uh, stay tuned for the epoxy primer video it'll be coming uh, shortly after this one uh, gets uploaded to YouTube and you'll see the Omni epoxy primer going down uh, this is the part uh, that kind of sucks getting all of the granules out but you got to take your time keep blowing it and sucking it yeah I said that all right peace and grease sucker